Hello Dreamlight Valians, it's Sassy Shortcake here and today I'm bringing you a full and complete recipe guide. So I'll be putting chapters so you can easily find them. Check that out in the description if you want to jump to whatever recipe you want to find. These will be in alphabetical order as you find them in the game. First, appetizers. First we'll be making Arendellian pickled herring. You need one herring, so you come down to the fish tab. One lemon, fruit, one onion, one garlic, which is actually found in the herbs and spices tab. And finally, this is just one other herb or spice. So I'm going to be using oregano. You can fill this in with any other herb or spice. And there we have our first recipe, Arendellian pickled herring. It's funny because there's actually three variations of the pickled herring. Okay, so the bell pepper puffs. We just need cheese and egg, which can be purchased here in Remy's restaurant. Once you've unlocked it, and one bell pepper. And there are lots of puff recipes. They're pretty much all the same, except the vegetable just changes out. Next, cheese platter. This is one of the most simple recipes. Just throw a piece of cheese into the pot. And there you have it, a cheese platter. Chili pepper puffs. Once again, we'll be using one egg, one cheese, and we'll be using a chili, which is found in the vegetables tab, not the spices. <laughs> there we go. And these can be grown in sunlit plateau. Now crackers, you just need one wheat, that's it. Creamy soup. So you need a spice, milk, potato, and any vegetable. So I'll be putting in carrots for most of these recipes when we need an any vegetable. One carrot, one potato, one milk, and finally one spice. Again, I'll be using oregano because I've got a lot of that. Crudités. Now this says you can use any vegetable, but that's not true. You can use carrot, bell pepper, cucumber, zucchini, or mushrooms. If you use another vegetable other than those, then you'll yield something else. Eggplant puffs. You use one eggplant, one egg, and one cheese. French fries. You use one canola and one potato. Canola can be found in this kind of dairy tab, I guess because it's used as an oil, and one potato in the vegetable tab. And potatoes can be grown in the Forgotten Lands. Now we're going to make gazpacho. We need one cucumber, one tomato, one onion, and one spice or herb. So I'm going to be using oregano again. Now a green salad, we'll be using one lettuce and one vegetable. So I'm going in with my lettuce, you can just use two lettuces or one carrot, whatever really here. Grilled vegetables. So once again, this says use any vegetable. The vegetables we can use here are chili, eggplant, asparagus, corn, pumpkin, onion, or seaweed. Anything else will yield a different result. So I'm going to be using corn. Grilled veggie platter. So here we can use pretty much any vegetables that we want, aside from lettuce. If we include lettuce, it'll end up being a salad. So I'm just gonna throw in three of the same vegetable. I've got three corn, but you can make these any three vegetables. Hard boiled eggs, one of my favorites. Just throw an egg in the pot and we're done. <laughs> it's an easy one. Large seafood platter. So first we need to come to the fruit category and just take one lemon from here. Then we go to the seafood section and you can choose any four seafood. I'm going to be just going with some clams and some scallops. In your collection guide, only clams, scallops, and oysters are listed as seafood, but any one of these things are classed as seafood. So you can use squid, lobsters, shrimp, or crabs. So now we've got a marinated herring. So this is like another variation of pickled, and we just throw one herring and one onion in for this. 
from the vegetables category. Quite easy. Okra soup. So this one's another easy one. Just one okra into the pot and we've got an okra soup. It's really interesting how some of the soups you just need a singular vegetable to make and others they'll use cream and spices and things. Onion puffs. So we need again egg and cheese and then an onion. Oyster platter. So we just need one singular lemon and one singular oyster for this one. Some of the recipes you can bulk up and just make them more expensive, but this isn't one of those because if you add extra oysters, it'll basically turn it into a seafood platter. Pickled herring. This is our third pickled or marinated herring recipe. So we'll be needing one herb or spice. I'm going to be using oregano. Then we need obviously our herring and then an onion and a lemon. So let's put our lemon in first and then find our onion in the vegetable tab. Potato leek soup. Here's a soup with a lot of ingredients. So we'll start with our leek, our potato and our onion from the vegetables tab. Now we need milk and garlic. So let's go down to our dairy tab and then down to our spices tab once again. And this is a five star recipe. So if you'll notice the amount of ingredients you need to use is the amount of stars you get for the recipe. Potato puffs. So here is another puff recipe. We need to find our potato in the vegetables tab and then let's go to our dairy tab and get a milk and eggs from here. Pottage. Here we have, it's like a soup, a thick soup or a stew. So we need one any vegetable, I'm using carrot, one potato and one herb or spice. I'll be using oregano once again. Pumpkin puffs. Another puff recipe, we need eggs, cheese and then our pumpkin from the vegetable tab. pumpkin soup. Here we have one of any vegetable. I'm going with carrot, one pumpkin, one milk, and one ginger. So that's in the herbs and spices tab. One ginger. Puree. Nice and simple. Just throw a potato in the pot. Roasted asparagus. You'll find your asparagus in the vegetables tab and your canola is in the dairy tab. So this is canola. I thought it would be in the grains tab, but I guess it makes sense. Like it's an oil. I don't know if it's actually called dairy tab either. I'm just calling it that. Salad. So here is an easy one. Just put one lettuce in the pot. Sauteed mushrooms, one mushroom and one butter. And for those who are having trouble getting mushrooms, check out my video on moving your well, on getting crossing bridges without unlocking them. Seafood appetizer. Now this is an easy one, just any one seafood. So you can pick anything in here. I'm going to choose a clam because I have quite a few of those. Now for our seafood platter, it's basically the same except this time you want to put two of any seafood in. Souffle. Here is my advice. Make these in the early game if you're having trouble making money. So we need one cheese, one egg, one milk and one butter. 
This is in the real early game before you unlock a lot of the different types of crops. It It's a lifesaver. <laughs> early on anyhow. Tomato soup. So another easy one. Just throw one tomato into the pot. If only it were that easy. <laughs> Vegetable soup. Here we just need two of any vegetable, with the exception of lettuce. Don't put any lettuce in this or you'll get a salad. I'm just using two carrots. Zucchini puffs. We'll need one zucchini, one egg and one cheese. Don't confuse your zucchini with your cucumber because they look very alike. And I've noticed on some of the written guides they've actually written the wrong ingredients. Very easy to confuse. This was our last appetizer. Now we have 35 appetizers complete. Let's move on to our entrees. There are a lot more of these. Let's start out with our apple cider glazed salmon. So you need to come down to the fish tab and find your salmon, this red colored fish. Next, let's find our apple in the fruit tab. And finally, we need our sugar cane, which is in the sugar tab, which looks like two sugar cubes. Baked carp. So we'll be using one carp and one butter. Let's find our carp in the fish tab and our butter in the dairy tab. Basil omelette, which is very similar to the souffle recipe. We need eggs, cheese, milk, and instead of butter, we use basil down here in the herbs tab. Pui base. This is a seafood soup. So we need uh, any two seafood. I'm going to be using clams, one shrimp, one tomato, and one any vegetable. So I'm just going to be putting in two tomatoes. Carp salad. So we'll be using one lettuce, one lemon, and one carp. Cheesy crispy baked cod. This is three ingredients, one cod, one wheat from the grains tab and one cheese. Chowder. This is another kind of seafood soup, but we'll be using dairy in it. We use one milk, one any vegetable, one potato and one seafood. So you can use any kind of seafood in here. Once again, I'll be using a clam. Creamy garlic scallops. So we'll be taking one scallop. Let's get our garlic while we're down here from the herbs tab. Now scroll up and get our butter and our lemon. Here's a butter and from the fruit tab, a lemon. Crispy baked cod. We've already had a recipe very similar to this. One wheat and one cod. It's just missing the cheese this time. Fish Creole. So we'll need one fish. That's any fish you can use here. One of any vegetable. So I'll be using my carrot. We also need a tomato while we're in this vegetable tab. And then we need to find our grains. So we have one rice here in the grains tab. And finally, let's scroll all the way down to our herbs tab and find our garlic. Fish and chips. So we need to head back to the top menu and get a fish. I'm going to be using herring. We can use our wheat here. Then we need to find our canola. So canola. And finally, we need a potato for this. There is our fish and chips. Fish pasta. Let's find our... 
let's go our, our wheat first. So wheat, then we'll get our milk, then our fish, which again, I'll be using herring, and I'll head all the way down and get our garlic from the spices tab. Fish pie, so any fish, one wheat and one butter. I'm using herring, but you can't use perch for this because that's another recipe. One butter, one wheat. Fish risotto, let's take our rice while we're in this tab. It's the same as the pie recipe, but with rice instead of wheat. So here's our herring and finally our butter. You don't need to use herring, it's an any fish recipe, once again. Fish salad. So we need to find a fish, a lemon, and a lettuce. Once again, in with the herring, because I just have so many of those. One lemon and one lettuce. Fish sandwiches. This is a recipe you need to learn very early on. So here is a wheat and here is a, a fish, a herring. And I think it's for Mickey Mouse's quest you need this. Fish soup. So now we need a herring, one any vegetable, I'm going with carrot, and one milk. Fish steak. There are a lot of fish recipes in this game. <laughs> so let's get our tomato. We also need any fish, so you can take anything here. And a herb, which is basil. We need specifically basil for this recipe. Fish tacos. This one looks interesting. Let's find our fish. Once again, I'm using herring. Let's go to our vegetables, and in this tab, we'll need our chili peppers and our corn. And finally, we need to add in cheese. Fugu sushi. Here we'll need our fugu fish, which is like a blowfish. And then we need to find our rice, and finally seaweed, which can be found in the vegetables tab. Greek pizza. So this is a another five star recipe. We need to find a tomato and an onion from the vegetables tab. Then let's move down to our grains. We'll take our wheat to our dairy with cheese. And finally, we need any herb. So let's take oregano and put that on. Grilled fish. So this is really easy. Just put a fish in the pot. The end. <laughs> so herring in the pot. Here we have it, a grilled fish. And there are actually lots of dishes that look like this. Now we've got grilled fish entree. It's pretty much the same, but this time we're adding a vegetable. If you're using herring as your fish like me, just don't add an onion because that's a different recipe. Gumbo, now this uses lots of different types of vegetables, specific vegetables. So we need to start with an onion, a tomato, we need okra while we're here, and finally we need chili peppers. Then we need to add our seafood, and that is specifically a shrimp. Hearty salad. So we need one lettuce and two of any vegetable. You can make this all lettuce or mix in anything else that you want really. From this vegetable tab, I'm going with two carrots. Hors d'oeuvres. Once again, one of the easiest recipes to make. Just throw one herb in the pot and magically it turns into a cracker with a herb on top. <laughs> I think there's a bit of lying going on here. Next up, kapamaki. This is like a cucumber seaweed roll. So what we need is rice, one cucumber and one seaweed, which are both found in the vegetable tab. Yeah. 
Kronk Spinach Puffs. I love how they've included other Disney character recipes in this game. Instead of using butter, we use canola in this one. So canola, cheese, and spinach. Lancet Fish Paya. So we are going to be using a tomato from the vegetable tab. Next up, we'll take some rice from the grain tab. Then we want to move on to our lancet fish. And finally, we'll add in our seafood. So we need one shrimp and then one of any other type. So I'm using a clam. Leek soup, nice and easy, just one leek in a pot. I'm not sure how they determine what is an appetizer and what is an entree because some of these recipes seem very similar. Lemon garlic swordfish. So let's take our lemon, then we'll take our swordfish from the seafood tab down here all the way at the bottom, and finally our garlic from the herbs and spices tab. Lobster roll, another five star recipe. We need one garlic from the herb tab. Let's move up to our seafood. We'll add in a lobster. Then we'll go with our wheat, our butter, and finally our fruit tab, we'll take a lemon. Maguro Sushi. So what we need here is to head to the vegetable tab and we'll take our seaweed from here. Now let's take our rice from the grain tab. We need a tuna from the fish tab. So let's find that. Down here is this kind of blue and yellow fish. And finally from our spices tab we'll be using ginger. Maki. So we'll be using, this is a fish roll. So we need to go up to our fish and we'll find any fish. I'm using herring. Then we'll go on and take our grain, which is rice. And finally back to the vegetable tab for our seaweed. Margarita pizza. Here we'll be using tomato. Then we need to go to our grain tab and we'll take our wheat from there. Next up, we'll take our cheese. And finally, we need any herb. So I'll just be going with oregano once more. Mediterranean salad. We'll be using cucumber and also lettuce from this front page of vegetables. Then we'll move down and we'll take a tomato and an onion from this ne next section. And finally, we're finishing this off with any herb. Mushroom pizza. We need mushroom, wheat, tomato and cheese. So let's head back up here, take our mushrooms and our tomatoes from this tab. Move down to our grains, find our weed, and finally to our dairy tab and take our cheese. Mushu's congee. This is my favorite recipe in the whole game. This is a five star recipe. So let's take our eggs first from this tab, move on and we'll take our rice from the grains tab. Then we'll head up to the vegetables where we'll find our mushrooms. And then finally, we need to find both our spices. We need ginger and garlic. Omelette. So we need egg, cheese, and milk. And we've already made a variation of this, which was the basil omelette. It's exactly the same, just without the basil. Pan fried anglerfish. This is an interesting recipe. We'll be using one angler, angler fish, and then we'll head up to our vegetables where we'll take one zucchini. So not a cucumber, a zucchini. <laughs> one tomato, one zucchini, and one potato. I didn't even know you could eat anglerfish, so this was really interesting to me. 
Next up, a pan seared bass with vegetables. So let's go in with any two random vegetables and a bass. As simple as that. Now we've got a pan seared tilapia with vegetables and it's the same recipe, just a different fish. So we'll add in our tilapia and then just any two vegetables. There are a lot of fish in this game and what's interest interesting is some are used in multiple recipes and there are some fish that aren't used in any recipes at all. Now we have pasta. We just need one tomato from the vegetable tab and then to the grains tab we'll find our wheat. Peanut butter sandwich. So we just need one wheat for this and one bag of peanuts. So you unlock peanuts as you advance the restaurant quests or Remy's quests more along the way. And they'll just be available on the bench behind you, along with the milk and butter and those other things. Pizza! One cheese, one wheat, one tomato. Poached basil butter sturgeon. This is an expensive fish. So let's find our white sturgeon, which is in the fish tab. Then we need our basil. Let's head down, take our basil. Let's head back up there and get our butter. And finally, we need a lemon to finish this dish off. Porridge. We need one milk and one wheat. And there's another variation of this porridge, which is the next recipe. It's fruit porridge. So porridge with fruits. We need one milk, one wheat, and just any kind of fruit. I'm going to be using raspberries because I have a lot of those. Ranch salad. We need for this one lettuce, one bell pepper, one corn, one tomato, and one onion. Ratatouille, probably the most famous recipe. Mostly vegetables in this. So we'll go one eggplant, Oh, it's not a cucumber. <laughs> one tomato, one zucchini, one onion, and finally one herb. Any kind of herb. So I'll be using oregano. Saki maki. So this is like a salmon roll. Let's find our salmon, the pink fish. Or red. Then we need to find our rice and finally we have seaweed which is in the vegetables tab. Saki sushi. We just need our rice and our salmon. Oops, not in the dairy tab, in the fish tab. <laughs> Here we go. Savory fish. So we just need one of any fish. Oh, can I use herring for this? I'm not sure because that's part of a different recipe. Let's just go with a different fish. Take so one cod and one lemon. You know, I think I was getting mixed up with the marinated, but that's actually one herring, one onion. So I could have used herring in this too. Now scrambled eggs. One egg and one cheese. Nice and easy. Seafood pasta. So let's take our milk. We need some wheat. And finally, any kind of seafood. I'm going to be using my clam as usual. Mm -hmm. 
seafood pie. So a very similar recipe. We'll take any kind of seafood, one butter and one wheat. Seafood salad. So we just need one lettuce and then one of any kind of seafood. So I'm be I'll be using clam once again. Seafood soup. So one of any seafood and then two of any vegetables. This feels like deja vu. Because <laughs> it's exactly the same as all the fish recipes but with seafood in place of fish. Now seared rainbow trout. Something different. One tomato, one onion, and a rainbow trout. So we'll come to the fish tab. I always think it's going to look more rainbow <laughs> than it does. Simple fried perch. So let's find our perch. Then we need to find a wheat and a butter. Smoked peanuts and anglerfish. So you need one peanuts and one anglerfish. This recipe seems somewhat bizarre. Salmonia. So we need lemon from the fruit tab. Then we'll take wheat from the drains, butter from the dairy tab. And finally, we'll take our sole, which is this bright orange fish. That's quite flat. Spaghetti arrabbiata. We need tomato, wheat, and chili peppers. So let's take our chili peppers and our tomatoes from our vegetable tab, and finally our wheat. Spicy baked brim. So we need to take our butter. We'll also be needing our brim from the fish tab, and finally from the vegetables tab, we need our chili peppers. Steamed fugu. We need to find our fugu from the fish tab. We'll need ginger and garlic, which are both found in the herbs and spices tab. Sushi. This is an easy one. We just need one fish and one rice. So let's take our herring and add in some rice. You can use any fish for this. Sweet and sour kingfish steak. So we need to get a lemon from the fruit tab, a kingfish from the fish tab, and finally, we'll get some sugar cane, and that's found in the sweets tab. There's little two squares, they look like sugar cubes. Tamago yaki. So we need egg and sugar cane. So let's take our sugar cane from the sweets tab and egg from our dairy tab. Tasty salad. So from our vegetables tab, we'll be needing, where is it? Here we go. We'll be needing to take one lettuce, then one cucumber, then one of any other vegetable. And finally, we need to come back down here and find a spice or a herb. I'm putting in oregano. Tasty veggies. So once again, we just need one herb or spice and one vegetable, any kind of vegetable. Tekamaki. So this is a tuna fish roll. So we need to put in our seaweed from the vegetables tab. Oh, not wheat. I grabbed the wrong thing. Rice from our grains tab. We also need soya, which is found in our kind of dairy tab. 
And finally, tuna, which is the yellow and blue fish. Down the bottom. Teriyaki salmon. So let's find our salmon. Let's take our rice. Next, let's go with our soya from this dairy kind of tab. Mixed tab, I don't know. <laughs> Sugar cane from the sweets tab. And finally, some ginger from the herbs tab. And this is another five star recipe. Tuna burger. So let's first take our fish. We need to find our tuna, which is in the second tab. There's a lot of tuna recipes actually. Some vegetables. What we'll be needing here is one of any vegetable and we'll also be needing onion while we're here in this tab. Now let's head on down to our grains. We'll put in some wheat and finally from our fruit tab, we need a lemon. Vegetarian pizza. So let's start with our cheese. Then we'll take our grain, which is wheat, and then head up to the vegetables tab. Here, we'll just place in two of any kind of vegetable, and finally, one tomato. Vegetarian stew. So here we need one carrot, one potato, and one onion. You need these three vegetables specifically. Vegetarian taco. So here we'll be using our any vegetable, one chili pepper, one corn, and finally one cheese. Veggie casserole. So now we need a cheese. We'll take two of any kind of vegetable. And finally, one herb, any kind of herb that you want. Veggie pasta. So we'll be using for this one wheat, one tomato, and one any kind of vegetable. So I'm going with carrot. Veggie pie. So one any kind of vegetable, one wheat, and one butter. And these are a repeat on those recipes we've kind of already made, but seafood version and fish version. Veggie skewers. So these need four specific vegetables for these skewers. We need one bell pepper, <laughs> one onion, one zucchini, and one mushroom. And the final recipe for our entree section is walleye on papillon. You'll need one of any kind of vegetable, one walleye, which is a fish in the fish section. You might notice I don't have the recipe card for this yet. That's because I only have one of these fish. It took me three days just to get this one. So then finally you'll need one basil and one oregano. And this should make walleye on papillot, I hope. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix it. I'm a little nervous about this. I think the recipe's right. Yes, there we go. Walleye on papillot, which is wonderful. That's a great sigh of relief. We've completed our entree section and you needed to have made 81 recipes in the entree section. Now let's move on to our favorite category, desserts. First up, my hero cookies. You need wheat, butter, and any sugar, but this is wrong. You can't just use anything because if you use sugar cane, you'll get a different recipe. So go ahead and use either vanilla or cocoa beans. Apple pie. So you need one apple, one wheat, and one butter. So let's head back up here. Here's our butter, here is our wheat, and here is our apple in the fruit tab.
Apple sorbet. So we need one apple, one sugar cane, and one slush ice, which you unlock further down the track once you've further unlocked the rest restaurant by doing Remy's quests. Aurora's cake. So here is another one of those movie recipes. You'll need one sugar cane. You'll also need milk, eggs, and then wheat, and finally one fruit, any kind of fruit. So I'm going to be using raspberries. Banana ice cream. So you'll use one slush ice, one milk, one sugar cane, which is back down here, and finally one banana, which is back up the top. There's a bit of back and forth there. <laughs> banana pie. So you'll need one banana, one wheat, and one butter. So basically you can make pretty much all the kinds of fruit pies just with one wheat, one butter, and one whatever type of fruit. Banana split. So we'll be needing one milk. Let's take our banana. We need one slush ice, and then we need one sugar cane and one of any other kind of sweet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do two sugar cane. Beignets. So I really want some of these right now. They look delicious. One sugar cane. This is from Princess and the Frog. One egg, one canola, and one wheat. This looks so good. <laughs> berry salad. So one of each types of the berries. So blueberries, gooseberries, and raspberries. Birthday cake. So one butter, one eggs. Then we need to change tab to the wheat or grains tab, one wheat. And finally down to the sugar tab, we need one cocoa bean and one sugar cane. This is a cute little birthday cake. I don't know what this is from. Surely this is from a movie. Biscuits. So this is the recipe I was telling you about before. One sugar cane, one butter, and one wheat. This is what you would have made for the very first recipe, the hero cookie, had you used sugar cane. Blueberry pie. So we need one wheat, one blueberry, and one butter. Or I should say one punnet of blueberries. Candy. So just one of any sweet. So sugar cane, let's throw that in. Caramel apples. So you just need one sugar cane and one apple. Carrot cake. You need one, nothing from this time. <laughs> you need one vegetable, one carrot, one wheat, one egg, and one sugar cane. Cheesecake. This isn't really how you make it, but one sugar cane, one cheese, one wheat, and one of any fruit. I'm going with raspberries. This looks delicious. Cherry pie. You need one cherry, one wheat, and one butter. Chocolate chip cookies. So you'll need one butter, one wheat, one sugar cane, 
and one cocoa. So this is basically the same as the biscuits recipe, but just add in the cocoa bean. Chocolate ice cream. So let's take one cocoa bean while we're here, one sugar cane, one slush ice, and one milk. Chocolate waffle. So one egg, one milk, one wheat, and one cocoa bean. And there are a few variations of these waffles. Coconut cake. One sugar cane. Let's head back up the top. One egg, one wheat, and one coconut. coconut ice cream. Now we need one coconut, one milk, one sugar cane, and one slush ice. Crepe. So we need from here one vanilla, one egg, one milk, and finally, one wheat. Fruit salad. This is an easy one. You learn it very early in the game. You just need one of any fruit. Fruit sorbet. So one of any fruit and one slush ice. And it's funny because I've used a red fruit, but your fruit sorbet, it's always going to turn out yellow with lemons in it. <laughs> Gray stuff. So this is from Beauty and the Beast. We need one sugar cane, one cocoa bean, and one dairy of any dairy product. And this is funny because I always thought this was like an hors d'oeuvre, like something savory. And actually, apparently it's a sweet thing. And in fact, they even serve this at Disney now. Ice cream, we need one milk, one sugar cane, and one slush ice. Jam waffles, here's another waffle variation. So we need one egg, one milk, one wheat, and then one of any kind of fruit. Lemon sorbet, a relatively easy recipe, one lemon and one slush ice. Meringue pie. So we need from the dairy tab, one egg and one butter. Then we'll need one wheat and one lemon. Mint candy. So this is just a mint flavored sweet. We need one sugar cane and one mint from the herbs tab. Mint chocolate, this looks divine. So again, we'll need one mint, one sugar cane, one cocoa bean, and finally one butter. Mint sorbet. So we need one mint and one slush ice. And I love how this one looks. Pastry cream and fruits. We need one sugar cane, one milk, and three of any fruit. So I'm going to be using three raspberries. You can use anything here and you can mix them as well. A popsicle. How adorable is this? 
We need one of any kind of fruit, one sugar cane, and one slush ice. This is one of my favorite things. Peanut butter waffles. So we will be needing some peanuts, which you'll get from the dairy tab, some milk and some eggs while we're in here, and finally some wheat. Plain snow cones. Super simple recipe. You just need one slush ice. Red fruit pie. So this says you need any fruit, but actually you need a specific fruit. You need one butter, one wheat, and then for the red fruit, you need to use raspberries. Because if you use any other kind of fruit in that tab, you'll make a different kind of pie. Red fruit sorbet. So here we need raspberries and gooseberries. We also need sugar cane and some slush ice. Shake. You can use anything from this dairy kind of category. I'm going to use milk. The only thing you can't use out of there is eggs and cheese. Anything else goes. Snow White's gooseberry pie. So we need butter, wheat, and gooseberries. And this is why you can't use gooseberries in the red fruit pie. Sour snow cones. We need one lemon, and then we're going to use our sugar cane and our slush ice. Sweet slush. So anything from the sweets tab, I'm using sugar cane and slush ice. Tropical pop. So we need a few ingredients. We need slush ice, sugar cane, a coconut, and any kind of fruit. So I'm going to be going with gooseberries. Vanilla ice cream. So we need to use some milk, slush ice, one sugar cane, and one vanilla. Waffles. Now this says you can use any sugar, but you actually have to use sugar cane. Otherwise you'll get something different. You'll get crepes or chocolate waffles. So milk, sugar cane, eggs, and wheat. Wedding cake. This is so elaborate. One wheat, one butter, one eggs. Then we need to go to our sweets category and take one sugar cane and one vanilla. This looks so good when you place it down on a table. And last but not least are our Wonderland cookies. You'll need one sugar cane, one vanilla, oh, let's go up, one butter, and one wheat. I think this is one of my favorite recipes. And we are complete. That was all 164 recipes, and that includes 48 desserts. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to Boss Family Plays, and I'll see you in my next video. Now I'm off to decorate my island with all of my ice creams and desserts.